What's up travellers, SJ Aviation HQ here, welcome back to another video, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing the model review of the Hawaiian Airlines Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner by NG Models. This model was released in the August release of 2021, but was delayed into the September release. Um, I, if you want to go and check out the video of the unboxing of this, so the unboxing of the two 787s that I uh, I unboxed um, a few a, a few days ago, I believe it was, or recent in recent times. There'll be a card in the top right corner uh, leading to that video. But but before we continue in this video, if you are new to the channel and you like watching these sorts of videos, uh, uh, what I do on this channel, um, uh, like model reviews, the uh, Inf infinite flight videos, and also the unboxing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And also ding that bell icon next to the next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Got an awesome lineup coming up soon um, for this channel, so you don't want to miss out on that. Also share share this video to your friends so so they don't miss out on the content on this channel. And yeah, um, all that fun stuff below the video. So before I go ahead and show you the box, which you can see in front of you, I'm gonna read out some information regarding Hawaiian Airlines as an airline. And then some information regarding the airframe or the aircraft and then a little bit of detail regarding the operator, the, the history of the aircraft. So Hawaiian Airlines is an American based airline based at Honolulu, Hawaii and was founded on uh, January the 30th, 1929 as Inter-Island Airways while commencing operations on October the 6th, 1929 under its current branding of Hawaiian Airlines. It is currently the 10th largest commercial airline in the United States, with its main hub at Daniel K. Inuye International Airport on the on the main island of Hawaii, which is um, Oahu, and a secondary hub at Kahului on the island of Maui. As of today, which is October the 13th, 2021, for those that are watching in the future, um, Hawaiian Airlines has a total fleet of 61 aircraft, including 18 Airbus A321neos, 24 Airbus A330-200s, and 19 Boeing 717-200s, with an average fleet age of 10.3 years. In the, coming ye in the coming years, Hawaiian Airlines are expecting their first of 10 um, Boeing 787-9s to arrive, uh, which the first one is meant to, is expected to arrive uh, in mid to late 2022, which of course is this one we're going to be looking at today. Uh, so going into some information regarding the aircraft, the MEC number of this aircraft, which which of course is the manufacturer serial number, is 662, sorry, it's 66428. This aircraft line number is 191097, which means this aircraft was the 1,097th 787 to, to be rolled off, rolled off the production line at Boeing. Um, this aircraft is a Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner, which is the second of the three uh, variants of the uh, the Dreamliner. Of course, we've got the Dash 8, the Dash 9, and the Dash 10. Uh, the Dash 8 is the smallest, the Dash 9 is the middle, the more proportionate and the Dash 9 is, is the extremely long one. Um, so this aircraft performed its first flight on June the 18th, 2021. This aircraft as of today is 0 0.3 years old. This aircraft was built and produced at Charleston, Air Charleston International Airport, which is in South Carolina, which is where the 787's production line is currently based at. Uh, they don't no longer uh, build the 787s out of Everett Painfield anymore, but they do still have that uh, one, I think it's one or two 787s yet to be delivered from Painfield, and then that's it, basically. And then that aircraft's uh, airframe status is on order, and of, which is, of course, uh, this aircraft has not been delivered to Hawaiian Airlines yet. So the registration of this aircraft is November 780 Hotel Alpha. It is a Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Again, it has not been delivered to Hawaiian Airlines yet. Um, and this aircraft is equipped with two General Electric 1 Bravo engines. So that's two General Electric Gen X 1 Bravo engines. So with that, with that de 
information out of the way, let's go ahead and check out this box. As you can see, it is absolutely pretty. When I saw this with this box on Insta on Instagram, or like I think I saw the the box first on the forums, um, I just was in awe of the of the um, the colouring, the box art. So here in the top left corner, or uh, going across the top of of the box, here we've got the Boeing seven eight seven dash nine trademark typeface from for Boeing. Here we have in the middle we've got the 2D rendering of the Hawaiian 787-9 and it's a gorgeous livery. Uh, bottom, uh, bottom left we've got the Hawaiian Airlines logo and then we've got the uh, the registration which of course again is November 780 Hotel Alpha and below that we've got the, the licensing um, logos for Boeing. Uh, the bottom left, bottom right corner, we have the NG Models logo, and then this aircraft again is in one to find a scale. Um, yeah, so here we have the bottom panel, we have the Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner titles on the top left. Then we've got the uh, bottom left, we've got the NG Models logo in pink. Here's the aircraft that we're going to be unboxing today, or having a look at today, and then we have the registration below that. And then we have the barcode. On the right panel, we've got the NG Models logo, the Hawaiian Airlines logo, and then some some writing there saying that the aircraft is a one to four scale model. And then on the top panel, it is a, this is identical to the bottom panel, it's just uh, with different colouring on the background. And here we have this on the left panel the same same identical uh, detailing on this panel, but again it is different colors on the background and then on the bottom on the, uh, the back panel we've got the NG models logo in the top left then we've got the aircraft in the middle then we've got uh, the social handles for NG models and their website and the licensing again for Boeing the barcode and some warning information regarding the small parts and this aircraft is made in China I must say, this is probably one of the best box I, boxes I've seen from NG Models. They've made, they've, they're a bit on on par with um with uh Jim with uh, Phoenix Models. Well, Phoenix Models used to be good at making their box arts. They're not so much anymore. They're quite generic when they when they make their um, uh, box arts now. I think, um, yeah. As I, I keep, I've I've just stumbled on my words now. Uh, this is probably one of the better boxes that I had that I've had in my collection arrive. Of course, the the um the Etihad Greenliner was a is a beautiful one. If you want to go and head and check out the model review I did on that, go ahead check out the card in the top right corner. Um and like the Singapore Airlines Dash Ten as well. Um, the 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 uh, for me being a Kiwi, the Air New Zealand model, the boxes are pretty cool as well. They're pretty cool, pretty cool to have the the, the culture behind it. Um. Soon I'll be doing the model review of the the model you can see in the background there, the Air New Zealand Dash Nine uh, by NG Models, which was which, which was in the same um, unboxing video with this Hawaiian. But now that we've come to the conclu conclusion of the unbox the uh, the showcasing of the box, let's go ahead and check out the model. Here we have the absolutely stunning Hawaiian Airlines Boeing 787-9 by NG Models. Doesn't she look gorgeous? Um, I have some, uh, some, some high opinions and some uh, pretty uh, picky opinions regarding some of the details on this particular model, which I think I um, alluded to in the unboxing of the the model. Um, so. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you some the the in-depth review of the model from nose to tail, showing you the different aspects of this aircraft, giving you some information along the way, and yes, hopefully you enjoy that, and hopefully you stick around. So let's go ahead and start the review. So, uh, so zooming into the front of the aircraft now, uh, here we have um, the nose cone of the aircraft at the end of the pointer here. Here we have the window wipers just at the end of the pointer and the windshield of the 787. Um, below that, here we have the pedo tubes and the angle of attack and in between there we have the Boeing 787-9 titles. Uh, below the, the aircraft, we, 
we can see here we've got the the nose gear door which has uh, 780 on, on it which are the, the three digits in the aircraft the three numbers in the aircraft registration and below that we have the, the nose gear itself here we have the L1 door and below, beside that we've got the flag of Hawaii which is of course the state where of which this aircraft is based in Hawaii uh, it's based on the main island of Oahu which is where Honolulu is situated here we have the purple billboard titles of uh, Hawaiian Airlines here we have the, the first antenna on top of the aircraft and here we have the um, the L2 door beside that is the logo you can't may be able to make it out just here is the Hawaiian Airlines logo um, here we have the the wing light or the uh, the landing light on the in, inside of the wing here and we've got some nice connection of to on the wing with the fairing just here here we have the number one engine of the 787-9 of course this is a Gen X1 Bravo engine it's not a, a Rolls Royce uh, Trent 1000 uh, moving down to the wing of the aircraft, we've got a, the nice curvature of the 787's wing, one of my favourite aspects of this aircraft. If, any, if anyone knows me by now, they know me as uh, a huge fan of the 787 Dreamliner. I can't get enough of this aircraft type. Um, I haven't got enough of my collection, so I, I will be continuing collecting them. I can't, cannot wait to fly on one, I cannot wait to step on board one, I can't wait to touch one, uh, just, just anything 787 related, it's got my name on it pretty much. So here we have this, the 787 switch back wing design, here we have the red navigation light and then we've got the the beautifully, beautifully done uh, right wing tip of the 787, absolutely gorgeous, I, I, I just love uh, the design of this aircraft. Um, so moving down uh, to the rear of the aircraft now, I'm just going to put it into shot. Maybe I'll just, just make out the, the landing gear just here. I'm going to show you that in a short while. So zooming in to the rear of this aircraft. Uh, so first of all, I'll show you the midsection of the aircraft because this, this is quite a nice detail. We've got a, a, the silver or the grey uh, coloured lay of the... Um, of the Hawaiian's livery, I do. I like. I really, really like that detail. So, but going back to this this part of the of the aircraft, here we have. If I can just get it into shot. Sorry about the wobbling. Here to get a new tripod. So here we have the the Dreamliner Moon Crescent Moon logo for bombing. Here we have the this flag of the the United States or the USA or America, depending on how you say it. Here we have the registration November 780 Hotel Alpha, um, which is of course is the re registration of the first um, delivered one, the first will, that will be delivered to Hawaiian Airlines. Here we have the first, uh, the second antenna, and then we have the third antenna on top of the air, on aircraft fuselage. And here we have uh, just here we've got the L4 door. Of the aircraft and of course the L3 door is just situated just here. Uh, looking at the horizontal, horizontal stabilizers first before we look at the, the tail fin here we have the, the leading edge of the, uh, the stabilizer. Here we have the landing light, the one of the one of two landing lights that are on the rear of the aircraft. You can just make out the, the other one situated just here. It was hiding behind the tail fin. They are two they are logo lights and also tail lights. They light up the tail fin during night operations so that the ATC, the air traffic control, can see where, basically identify the airline. Uh, I, I, I believe it's just a, a device on, on the aircraft that is more, more or less used as an ident identification um, thing, really. And yep, here we have the APU of the aircraft, nice, nicely pointed for this aircraft. I, it's just an amazing looking aircraft, I must say. And now looking at the tail fin of the aircraft, um, which is basically led up by these wonderfully detailed flowers, and then leading up to the 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 nice gradient from purple to, 
to pink. And then it has the Hawaiian uh, lady in, uh, on the um, on the tail fin. Um, now, one of the details regarding this uh, this this model that I am kind of um, gutted about. Sorry about the the siren you can hear in the background, but um, here one of the details that I'm really gutted about is this particular error on the uh the nose of the hawaiian lady you can probably just make out that the nostril is uh a little bit too high um that should be i should be located near or just above the mouth of of her um which i'll show i'll i'll, I'll show you a a um uh like a close-up image of the logo and the tail just to show you like the difference so now, now i'm going to go into uh detail about the other side of the aircraft there's not much difference in terms of um the aircraft on this side um the only real differences are the, the fact that there is a bigger compartment at the front here uh just located just here there is um, another baggage compartment located just below the, the word Dream and Dream on it just here. We've got uh, another little baggage compartment, you can't quite make it out, but there's another one just here. And then on this on this side, it was red on the other side, but on this side it is green and that is the navigation line which is situated uh, just here. And on the front of the actual, uh, the top of the cockpit, maybe I did just make it out just now, that is the emergency hatch for the cockpit, if this aircraft is indeed in an emergency situation. But I really, really like this mould by NG Models. It is not my favourite mould for the 787. My favourite mould is JC Wings slash Gemini Jets. I do really, really like their mould. But I must say, NG Models... Uh, hit the nail on the head in terms of the detailing of this aircraft. The windshield look absolutely gorgeous. They're looking at the interior of the engines. They've got the fan blades done really, really nice. Um, you can somewhat see through the engine, which is pretty, pretty outrageous. And it's just the connection of the the wing and the onto the fairing looks really, really cool. Um, and I like how the wings are now flat and not, um, like, flexing, uh, like Phoenix has them. Um, which can be quite, can be somewhat unrealistic and can be, uh, realistic and when the aircraft is moving, of course. Of course, if anyone that knows has, or has seen a 787 moving on the runway, the wing flex is just outrageously, um epic to see um i would just really love to be a passenger on board an aircraft and, and just witness witness it for myself um so looking at the bottom of the aircraft now there's not much detail on on detailing, detailing that i can talk about in terms of de uh information but here we have the nose gear door just situated just here got the don't nose gear situated just here that the gears do in fact roll on this aircraft Moving down, we have the anti-collision anti beacon, just located, located just here. Got the stand hole, we've got the um, the landing gear doors just here. Got the landing gear themselves. They don't pivot, but they do indeed roll. Uh, here we have in this red, red rectangle, that is where the RAT, the Ram Air Turbine, is located. That is, uh, it was used during test t testing of the aircraft. Not sure if it's used... Um, during actual operations, but um, do let me know in the comments below if it is. Here we have the just here at the end of my thumb is that that is where the um, the cargo holders, the rear the rear package compartment. Here is the antenna, just located just here. Which I'll just turn it so you can see it. There we go. And we've got some nice detailing of the colours: silver, then we've got pink, and then we've got purple. Just absolutely cool. It's a very very nice livery. Um, of Hawaiian Airlines. Here, here we have the um, the the anti, anti, uh, APU entranceway. You can't quite make it out, but it is at the end of my thumb here. And here's the APU, nicely pointed, nicely pointed APU. Um, 
And then we have a view of the engine of the engine as well and the landing gear. I do like this model. It's just a shame that uh, engine models missed out on the de the detailing of the tail fin. I will bring in the box because this will kind of show you the difference. If you want to have a look at that, um, if I can kind of can kind of make it out. Look at the nostril. You could kind of make out that the logo is different to the um, the, t the logo on the tail fin, which is probably going to be the part where I am gonna gonna pick out the most in terms of this model. Uh, it is a a, a shame because otherwise this model would be absolutely perfect. Um, the mold is great. The all, all the details are great, apart from that small defect on or error on the the tail fin. I am very picky with my with my seven eight sevens. They must be accurate. Must be perfect. Otherwise, it's just a no go. You know, I mean, it's just the way it goes. I'm picky about my seven eight sevens. Um, so yeah, if um if you want to come along and join and support me on Instagram. Uh, I've got two Instagram accounts. I've got my airport account, which you can see in the background. That is not my airport mat. That's basically where I showcase everything regarding my airport, all the operations, all the movements, all the photos, uh, all the news, all the updates. Um, I do live streams on, on there every now and then of the model releases. I may end up doing model releases on in on YouTube uh, videos. Um, I do some unboxings on on in live streams as well but i now i have kind of um made my way to youtube with, in terms of unboxings um yeah, uh, the next unboxing that will that will be up soon will be of the gemini jets uh august releases i think they are or september releases uh do, so do stay in tune for that uh, the, so if you want to go in here and check out the instagram account uh the first link in in the socials area of the description below Below that will be the link leading you to the other Instagram account that I'm somewhat active on now, which is the 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 airlines or the livery aircraft livery designs. That's where I showcase my um, livery designs that I do on Photoshop. I basically uh, design um, concept liveries. So, for example, an Emirates A350, which will be which they will be getting in the next few years, which will be very very cool to see. Um, so, and, uh, if you want to, if you want to go in there and, and, um, suggest me a livery to do of an airline that doesn't have a particular aircraft, do let me know, and I shall do my best to perfect it. Um, also, also, if you want to go and, and check out the third link, which will be leading you to the Facebook page that is the, Ash, um, representing the, um, SJ Productions, the entire brand of my, of my operations. So that will that is basically uh, showing you the photos that uh, that I post on Instagram, and also leading you to YouTube as well. Uh, the Twitter page that is underneath the the the, tw the Facebook link is the the same as Facebook, but I, uh, so that's basically what I do on Facebook as well. Um, uh, the, so you want to come along and join a Discord server that is based around aviation, uh, the Global Aviation Alliance. What we do on there, we talk about everything aviation, models, uh, a like flight trip, uh, flights around the world, our favorite trips, our favorite liveries, aircraft deliveries, uh, everything aviation. If you want to come along, uh, do let me know in the comment section below, and I'll pass you over to one of the three admins, um, one of the four admins, my bad. To get your application and joining process started um, on November the twenty third, twenty twenty one, I'll be launching launching my airport's website. Um, currently in the process of doing some updates regarding the air, the the um, the, the uh, information on there. Um, I will be putting the link to my uh, the URL to my uh, to the website in uh, the description below after it has been um, launched so do look out for that also go look out on instagram the airport account for further updates regarding that particular the that particular subject and soon enough there will be the patreon account and also the tiktok account regarding sj productions 
which I think I will be putting on my website as well. Um, so yeah, some some great stuff on the way, guys, um, including the unboxings, model reviews, Instagram, sorry, sorry inf infinite flight videos. Um, so yeah, hope that now concludes this video. So thank you very much for coming along and joining me for the um, the uh, model review of this Hawaiian Airlines Boeing 787-9 by NG Models. Hopefully, hopefully you you enjoyed. Uh, so again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, if, um, and ding that bell icon next to it so you, so you don't miss out any future videos. Uh, share this video to your friends, and also comment below what you think thought about the video, and uh, and of course the model if you have it or as well. Also, let me know in the comment section below what you think about my uh, pickup of the detail the details of the nostril on the nose. Um, and yeah, so in a short while you'll see the most recent video on the left hand side which which is uh, the, the, the most recent model review that I did of the TAP Air Portugal Airbus A330 900neo by JC Wings. On the right hand side there will be the uh, the full playlist of the, the model reviews that I've done on the channel. In the middle is where you can subscribe, but until the next video, fly safe, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.